please don't laugh at my hair. I haven't um, straightened it or anything, and obviously it's like greeny blonde. So if you've seen my last video, you'll know why. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. I can't, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna turn out. I don't like to spend money, so I have just gone into my dye cupboard and found dyes that I already have lying around, and I found two directions dyes: carnation pink. Um, and rose red. I have another part of it and um, I've got some conditioner. I originally wanted um, pink, really light pink pastel hair but my hair is just, it's, it's not the right colour. Like, the bottom bits are wicked, the green, what? And the orange is just too orange. Like it's just, it, for pastel hair you need white hair basically so I'm gonna go for a darker shade of pink. So I'm going to dilate, dilate, really, really. I'm thinking about birth, okay. I'm going to dilute with conditioner, carnation pink, and I'm gonna mix in some rose red because this is a really dark pink. So yeah, I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. I'm kind of scared, so let's do this. I was just gonna wait and buy some toner, but it's Tuesday today. I've gotta to go into college tomorrow at nine. Um, and on Thursday is my last exam, so I've got an exam at 9, then I'm going out clubbing. Friday, I've got a barbecue. Saturday, I'm seeing my sister and I've got a party. Like, I have no time to dye my hair. Um, I don't sell any of the hair products that I need in my town. I have to go to all of Amazon, so basically, I don't have time for my dream pastel pink hair, but maybe one day that will happen. So for now, um, I, I did do a strand test, but that was yesterday, and I didn't put in carnation pink, so I really just don't know how this is going to go, but... It should be cute anyhow, I hope. I'm using just like a random VO5 moisture conditioner that I don't really use, so I'm just using it for mixing. What I'm gonna do is put in one squeeze of conditioner, about that size, and I'm gonna put in quite a big dollop of this rose red because I need quite a dark color to cover my orange, so I'd say like this much. It looks very red, so I'm gonna put in some of this pink, about this much and I'm gonna mix that all in together. You've gotta make sure when mixing hair dyes that you really mix this well because I've done it before where I've mixed two hair dyes but I haven't mixed like the solution up properly and it's been kind of like some places of my hair were one of the dyes and the other place was another one of the dyes and it was just terrible. Right, so it should be something like this. This is quite a bright pink. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm gonna do another dollop of conditioner and just do the same thing. Add some rose red. And add some carnation pink. So basically, you just keep doing that until you have enough mixture to cover your locks. And yeah, I'm so nervous. I really hope this turns out well. Because I don't have time to fix it if it doesn't because of college and other commitments so please turn out well hair please turn out well oh it kind of matches my bedroom wall maybe if I stand in front of it and make videos I'll just blend in Ooh, spooky oh <laughs> why do I always manage to do this rose red is such a strong dye as well that is not gonna come off for a while oh great great see this is exactly why when you dye hair you wear a top that you don't mind ruining I've got my Lady Gaga top on I love this top but it's size 16 and I'm size 6 so I can afford to ruin it it was only from Primark whatever I put up a picture on Instagram of my blonde hair um, if you can see that and my hair looks so much better than it does in real life and all of you guys are saying leave it blonde leave it blonde but seriously I refuse <laughs> right so I think that should be enough dye if not I can easily just make some more and I've got my gloves and I've got my nerves and uh, let's do this I am going to just brush out my hair a little it's going to puff out even more now. Brilliant. So I'm just going to put up this top section of my hair. Boop. Ah, it's so bright. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. My life. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm slightly worried. When it's gone over the orange bits of my hair, it's gone a bit of a weird shade. That's not too promising, but I can always sort that out. I'm so tempted to dye like half my hair pink and the other half like something stupid like blue or something, but <sighs> ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna put this up in a clip for now to get it out my face. To do this bit, I'm gonna do the bottom bit first, as always. And oh my god, it looks like someone's kissed my head. That's so funny. And that made it worse. Okay. I can't dye my hair without getting it just absolutely everywhere. I have a very odd pink head. Uh, these are my gloves. They are certainly very, very pink. I'm slightly worried about this hair colour. Number one, because I don't know whether a bright pink is going to suit me. And number two, I don't know if you can see, but on the orange bits of my hair, the dye went kind of dark and murky. So on all the orange bits, I got just straight rose red, not diluted it, and just put it on there. So there are going to be streaks of like darker pink. I just don't know if I'm ready for it to be so bright as it's looking already, but... I'm sure I'll cope. <laughs> right, for the last step, I usually put cling film on my hair, but I don't have any cling film because I used it all up. So I have something that's probably even better. I have a Minnie Mouse shower cap. This is gonna be my new, uh-oh, hat for when I dye my hair. Oh my God, look at me. I look crazy. Okay, 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 okay. It's been an hour and two minutes, so time to wash it off now and I think it's gonna be really bright like I'm kind of slightly scared but I'll try and rock it also I had this amazing idea that because the dye that I use is non-toxic and vegan and like fine to use on animals that I could dye Dimmy my, my little cat but um mum said no <laughs> I was like mom it's fine you know you can take it to the vets get her sedated just for a quick 10 minutes I'll plop the dye on dry her off and when she wakes up, she'll have a new do. And apparently that's animal cruelty. So bright. I wish it wasn't so bright. But what can you do, eh? What can you do? Oh, it hasn't taken here, I don't think. Oh. Okay, I've just washed my hair, which is why it's wet. My hair is so, so ridiculously pink. Like, whoa. But it's done now, so what can I do? It's kind of red here, where the orange bits were. And where the um, really orange bit is, is, you can see, it's kind of darker, but it's just red. I don't know if I like it that much. I think it'll look nice when it's styled, maybe. I don't know. Also, I got some in my eye, which is why my eyes are red, if you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna put in some leave-in conditioner and some oil and stuff and dry my hair and see how it looks. Okay, so I have dried it and straightened it and this is the finished product. I'm not entirely sure about it. To be honest, I think it's just a bit too bright for my liking. I really want it to fade. I just think I used to really like really bright hair, but as I've gotten a bit older, I just think it, on me personally, it looks a bit tacky. I really like tacky things, but maybe not for my hair, so yeah. Um, I've put it up, I half up like this, because yellow. I think I've done that really bad, there, I did it in like five minutes. I really want, um, so I'm just trying to show you it without this bit. I really want pastel pink hair. So maybe this is just a stepping stone towards that, you know? So, I don't know. I'm sure it will grow on me. I'm kind of nervous for college tomorrow. People are gonna comment on it and I'm gonna be like, shh, I don't wanna talk about it, shh. <laughs> it feels lush though, cause the dye was on mixed with conditioner. I hope you like it at least, and I hope you liked this video. Um, so I think for the next, I don't know, a few weeks, I'm just gonna focus on trying to get this to pastel pink, but I'm sure it will fade just naturally in the bath, so. 
thanks for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video sorry if i was rambling or complaining a bit i'm just just a bit iffy about this but yes um remember to subscribe so you can become a member of the mer family because when you click subscribe you magically become a mermaid or a merman whichever you prefer thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next one